Well, what are you waiting on? You two dinner! I've, <clears throat> we've got news for you. And we've got news for you too. Oh yeah, me and James are going to be vegetarians from now on. And when it's Christmas, we don't want a turkey. We want a, what is it, Emmons Eat Malky? A nut roast. Aye, we want a nut roast. You want a nut roast for Christmas? Is that a you love? And we're going to be chicken farmers when we grow up. And you don't see no contradiction between being a chicken farmer and a vegetarian, no? And what are you going to do with these chickens? Jim! Right, okay. Listen. As I said before, we've got news for you. Your mummy's pregnant. Pregnant? Up the duff. No, not up the duff. I'm gonna have a baby. Which means that them two useless, dirty f things... No, they're not useless. They're not dirty. They are so. No, they're not. You're the dirty one. You stuck your knob in her vanny. Did he say his knob? All right, you two, up the bed. Come on, I'm fucking nut roast you out the way. Come on. Is that something that happened to you? Did you have to masturbate in front of other boys' staff? Everyone did. Peter Baldwin? I said everyone did. Jensen always had a favourite. And the tradition was that when he was leaving, the special boy had to nominate his successor. <laughs> so Jensen and Baldwin came to our dormitory one night. Peter was due to leave, and Jansen made Peter choose. He could have chose me. He looked straight at me. Straight at me. And I knew Jansen wanted me. I felt it. But Peter walked straight past me and chose another boy. I don't know who, some poor fuck. I didn't look, I didn't even care. Just as long as it wasn't me. Just as long as it wasn't me. Being Jansen's favorite was the worst thing. The worst thing you can imagine. You keep an eye on him, I'll meet you back here. Sometimes it might seem like we don't always understand what it's like to be you. It's like you've got these special powers. Like a wizard. And we're just muggles that don't understand how you do it. It's like a different language to us. But even though we don't always understand each other, Neith, it doesn't mean that any of us ever stops loving each other. Does that make sense? Nathan, look at me. But you shouldn't be afraid.
Would you be able to spare some of your crop? There's more than enough. That's what they all thought. Well, then perhaps... Perhaps we could stay the night. She likes you. Would you like to keep seeing her? The farm is small for a reason. I've managed so far. You've been lucky. It wasn't luck. <laughs>